Bad language warning. Let's write a movie. The podcast. Hello, welcome to Let's Write a Movie, the podcast where we take random ideas for a setup, a conflict, and a resolution. The normal tropes of a movie. And we we do stuff with them, don't we? We try and yeah. make a story. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> cool. Um, yes, I'm Paul, and that's Rowan. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and we do stuff like this all the time. No, we don't. We just do it for this. On that's specific true. dates. That's you know true. About? That's true. We don't do this all the time. Anyway, do you want to start doing it? You yeah, know, I do, actually. Together? We've got, again, we've got the lovely box. The box of mystery. So we're going to start with the setup. Yeah. Hopefully you know the um, premise by now. If yeah. not... Um, I mean, please, please. God, check out listen, the back catalog. listen to some more episodes. Please. All right, cool. He earns so much if you do that. Mm, I would like to earn something 20, from 20, this. 20 cents, <laughs> pence, wherever you are, per 2,000 streams. Um, something like that. Yeah. He's nearly got 50 cents, which is enough so to like, buy. <laughs> like I say, stopper. Yeah, I would love to earn some money. So please it's how he gets his tell your friends. His, his cats, as we say. And also... If you want to submit ideas to us, do. Get us on the socials. What kind of ideas? Oh, you know, that can pop in like here. Clothing. Clothing ideas. Haircut styles. Optional. Hair, <laughs> hair styles. Yes, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Any, right, anyway. any setup conflicts or resolutions, please do send in to us and you can end up in the box of mystery. And a foot, passport photo size of yourself and we'll have that on the back of the idea so yeah. you can get famous. But we will credit you. You know, you can do that. Yeah. yeah. So, please, uh, we actually do have some ones that we need to credit if they do come up. So people have already started doing this. What, like your daughter? Uh, yep. Yep, okay. she did it. It was your daughter? Mm. It wasn't my daughter. She's not your daughter? Oh. Uh, well, right. you know what my wife's like. <laughs> oh, we all. Filthy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll probably cut that bit. Ireland. Should I cut that? Oh, no. Right. Yeah, all right. Um, should we start? Yes. So we got a bit, yeah. A world where people are only excited by mundane things. Credit, Julia Light. Oh, there you go. One Thanks, happened, Julia. One literally happened to come up the very first thing that we said. <laughs> Conflict. A rhino is loose in the city. Well, that's not one day, is it? A, a nice, what are they going to do with that? Yeah. They're going to a freak nice out. A nice reference to only fools and horses. They just won't do anything. They don't get excited about that kind of stuff. Mm. They just get killed. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, another ocean. Monday. <laughs> the main character returns to their family more wiser than when he left. Ah, well, that's lovely. It's always good, isn't it, to obtain wisdom yeah. through the situations you've been in. Mundane and wise. That's you. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Is it okay. genre or actors? Uh, we'll go for genre first. And an orange piece of paper. Mm. I like orange. Thank you. I don't know why I said thank you. <laughs> musical. A musical? So we've got to sing. We're going to sing it. Occasional songs, okay. Occasional wow, this is going to be a new one. We, never, we didn't have musical in the past. Wow. This is going to be... Let's put a cat amongst the pigeons. Oh, Lord. How many actors in a musical? Hopefully, hope, a lot. hopefully Hugh Jackman comes Can up. Can we just do three this time? I thought four... I we'll we'll, get, we'll go, we'll go with two one. and then we'll add in some more at the end. If we need more, we can select more. Yeah. Two. I hope I get... A, um, I hope a girl comes up can so that we that. can oh, do a little girl voice. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Caine. <laughs> Look at that. Hey. That's a good Hello. one. Do you want to do it? I can do Michael Can you do Caine. my Go on, have a go. Let's audition. 
You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Oh, you know who's playing Michael Caine then? (laughs) George Clooney. Where are the women? (laughs) You sexist pig. We are men. We are but men. Right. George Clooney, Michael Caine. Have they ever been on screen together? Um, This could be their first time on screen together. No, it won't be. Was Michael Caine in the Ocean movies? Or ER? No, but he's... I can imagine him in ER. Like an old wise English surgeon. Mm. Well, what are you doing there, you stupid? He's getting quite uh, old, so I'm sure he's visiting ER more often. Shall we start? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I enjoyed that. Go on. A musical. Wow, okay. We're singing in a mundane world. Oh, okay. So I'm going to lead this one straight off the bat. Go, lad. Right. So it's a world where people are only excited by mundane things. It starts off straight away. Um, so Mike, Michael Caine um, and George Clooney are playing... Um, Mario Kart. They're, they're an old married couple. Okay. Um, so uh, George Clooney, the, setting the scene, George Clooney is in the kitchen, just getting a little cup of tea ready in the morning. Michael comes in. Um, should we just use their names rather than having character names? No. <laughs> okay, Michael... I see, it's, it's a bit confusing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but, no, Michael can just give him a generic. Okay, so Michael is called Jeff. Can George be called Bonnie? George is called Bonnie. Yeah. So Jeff and Bonnie. Um, okay, so... Oh, God. We're ruining ourselves here. <laughs> so Michael comes in. Hello, my darling. What are you what? doing? No, we'll just have a song now and again. I'm not doing that for the whole thing. No, what? It starts off with a That's song. That's not a musical. It's got to start off big. It started with a song. Oh, we start. Okay, as long as we're not doing every line yeah. of singing. Yeah. Okay. Hello, my darling. What are you doing? Fried eggs and ham. Delicious. Using me new pan. Yum. So the song ends there. Yeah. Um, so obviously they got very excited about that uh, rather boring breakfast. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to try and get through this as quick as possible. Well. <laughs> right. Um, uh, today, darling, I thought I'd go and uh, and I, I was going to head into the city to to pick up some uh, some uh, three and a half inch screws. I need to put a frame up. You put in a frame up. Yeah, a framed picture of us on our honeymoon when we went to Scunthorpe. Yeah, well, that was a beautiful time. Oh, it was all right, I guess, wasn't it? We saw saw a couple of roundabouts. I, I found it. I found it invigorating. Well, I've never seen that part of the world before, and it was kind of uh, eye opening. Oh, it was. It was a lovely time. It was the best time of my life. Right. <laughs> so uh, you know they they uh, they eat up um, their whatever you said it was eggs. Fried egg and a bit of ham. Fried, fried eggs and ham. And, ham. and uh, and drink up their teas, and they head into the city. Um. <laughs> so right, let's loosen the Okay. So they go into the uh, so they they head into uh, the uh, city in their nineteen eighties Ford Cortina. And, um, oh gosh, okay. <laughs> Where am I going here? All right, um, in the town, yeah, oh, good point. <laughs> uh, so they're, they're heading in and uh, they got the radio on, searching for some news, you know, they get excited by the news, some mundane news, yeah. And uh, the, the news comes on, it's a lovely lady. Probably, I don't know. It's it's a radio, so you, you can't don't actually see her. Attention, attention! This is a breaking news alert. Uh, this is the lady. <laughs> um, this is a breaking news alert. A rhino is loose in the city. It's quite a dreary-looking rhino. Nothing of interest, but do keep a lookout for it. Of course, because you know, why would she be excited about that? No, oh, yeah, well. Um, nah, oh god! Why does uh, nothing ever exciting happen in this city? Oh, a bloody rhino again! Uh, that was <laughs> yeah. 
A, blo- a bloody rhino again. Ugh, what's new about that news? <laughs> so, uh... Oh, look. Hey, baby. There's a new uh, traffic light configuration. The, the uh, eastern freeway now takes precedent over the western. They get well, right out of way. Well, I'll tell you oh, what. That oh. is bloody exciting. That is the most... Wow. Yeah. I... Oh. <laughs> mm. So, um... So as they're waiting at the at the new traffic light system, the rhino runs past really quickly. Oh well, would you look at that? The rhino's just gone past us. Mm. How thoroughly unexciting! So they carry on to the hardware store, and they park up. You know, as always, very, very, very happy about his parking job. So much so that he bursts into song. Darling, would you look at my lovely parking job? Three and a half centimetres away from the curb. There's a sale on. Uh, look at uh, that shop over there. We can buy four cups and a bear. Wow, my God, that's a good deal. Four cups and a bear. A teddy bear. Can we, <laughs> you, can we buy a dog? I want to buy a dog. No, that's much too mundane and boring. And the song ends. Right, yeah. So obviously, um, you know, because buying a dog would be quite an exciting venture in the normal world. Um, so True. anyway, True. Um, so they head into the shop and they buy their four cups. They think, wow, this is a amazing deal on these cups. Um, and uh, the hardware store happens to be next door as well. Mm. So uh, he goes into the hardware store and he notices that uh, there's a ever so slight sale on the three and a half inch screws that he wanted. Five percent off. Five percent off. Wow, I do not believe this. What a deal. What a deal. What a deal. (laughs) You know? Uh, (laughs) George Clooney, you know, um, what's called Bonnie. Bonnie doesn't uh, sing at this point. (laughs) just (laughs) the fuck. I'm actually excited. I'm like convulsing with excitement, looking at all the screws. <laughs> I've got like a, I've got like a, my arms full of screws and mm. protractors and like screwdrivers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's your cook name called? Uh, Jeff. Jeff? Is it Jeff? Jeff? Yes. Jeff? I want to buy all of this stuff. Mm. Oh, sure. Why not? They're all great deals. Oh, look at that old woman walking slowly. Oh. <laughs> um, so anyway, they uh, they head home after getting their He's amazing his, deals. Yeah. They carry it all over. You get a um, What actually happens in the car park is that uh, um, Jeff goes to Bonnie and says... Now, I see you're carrying those things quite awkwardly. Here's a lovely bag to put them all in. A bag? Ooh! <laughs> so they carry the bag, put it in the car, and they drive home. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, in this time... Uh, a bag? <laughs> uh, Bonnie has come home. You go out, you go out somewhere. <laughs> okay. You come home and you find me, and I've got this bag over my head and I'm dead. I've topped myself. Sheesh. Can we have that? No. I think that's fine. Ooh, a bag. Ooh. Ah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, what has happened to my wife? And, uh, oh, wait, no, it was husband, wasn't it? No, what has happened to my husband? I am certainly wiser now about the use of bags. Never use plastic bags. They are harmful to the environment. And they are harmful to my husband. Um, and that's the end. The credits roll. There we go. Yeah. Can we call it a bag for life? Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's got so many meanings. Yeah. Yeah. Layered. It's, it's a lay. It's a lay title. title. Oh Seriously. wow! Don't didn't even have to discuss. 
Wowzers. There we go, Michael Caine, okay, George Clooney, yeah. and a bag for life. Um, I'm hoping our only musical that we ever have to do oh, on this show. <laughs> Please, not again. No, should I just try that? Can I scramble Scru- up? Scramble up and yes. Yeah. yeah, so <laughs> um, <laughs> do we have any extra characters in that one? Mm. Who plays the rhino? Brian Cranston? Wouldn't you get an actual rhino or CG? CG rhino. A CG rhino. Oh, so it would be that guy that does Gollum. Yeah, what's he called? Um, Daniel oh. Radcliffe. Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. He was Gollum. <laughs> um, yeah, no, so, what was he called? What is he? Um, oh, what's he called? Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis, yeah. Andy Serkis yeah. plays the, the rhino. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And, uh, oh, the news anchor. Uh, Bonnie Tyler. Really? Mm. Because she's got a really gravity voice, mm. isn't she? Similar to what the... <laughs> yeah, she had to That's put on... like Tom Waits. She's not bad. She put on a bit of an act. You know, she had to change her voice up a bit. For the role? For the role. But yeah, my, who knew Michael Caine could sing so well? Probably going to be damaging to people's ears. No, I know. That was a bit... <laughs> that was impressive. Yeah. The chemistry between Michael Caine and George Clooney. I can see them in real life being together. I could see them being the new Batman and Robin. I can imagine George just like admiring and like kind of almost like uh, worshiping Michael Caine. Like Michael Caine will come home and there'd be mm. like a lovely cake waiting for him. Mm. Yeah, a bit put of Madeira feet, cake. Put your feet up, Michael. Have a slice of Madeira. You know, he's like be massaging <laughs> his feet. You know, sucking his toes. You yeah. Know. <laughs> anyway, I think that yeah. Hmm. I think I hope they do actually work together at some point before. Is he is getting on Is he like still going? Him? Like, is he still acting? Is I, this his last role? Michael Caine? Yeah. I think so. I just don't... I'm waiting for him to join EastEnders. Wow, that would be something else, that. Yeah. yeah. New landlord. Oh, yeah. Mm. Move out of the way, Danny Dyer. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> There you go. So that was another episode um, of Let's Write a Movie. Yes. And it's called Bag for Life. Bag for Life. Uh, which I'm just enamoured by that title. I think it's my favourite ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for uh, stopping by. Thank you. Check out our socials, won't you? Bye. See ya. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. Let's Write a Movie is a Paul and Rowan podcast production. Find us on our socials at LWAMPod on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And Elwam Podcast on TikTok. That's Elwam. L-W-A-M. We are posting unique content on all different socials, so it's well worth checking out. Until next time, see you later.